Welcome in, guys. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Dragon Slayer, Keith, Johnny, Cody, what's up, guys? What's up? Won't keep you guys waiting too long again today. We'll just roll right into it. Get the game share up and running. We got work to do. We got work to do. Good evening, everybody. Happy Thursday. Things fired up. I'm going to hire the worker on this one. We're going to follow him around. Get up there where he can reach me. Please don't miss too much of that. Of course you would. What's up, guys? Right instead of Keith, Johnny, Cody, everybody in here hanging out. Been doing some hay work, plant beans in your alma. Nice. Nice, nice. I need to get farther out of your way. I do you not like it there? That's the one thing about doing silage is sometimes these guys act funny. Sometimes they like to act funny. Started a stream while watching a Christmas movie. Yeah, <laughs> you doing watching Christmas movies this early? What are you doing over there? Goofy. Well, that's great. I just ran over some of my sunflowers. What are you doing that for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, you know what we could do? I never really... It's been a while since I've done this. Um, how do you do this? You do this one. You do create job, field work, go to field work. Yeah, start job. He's going to drive to the field. I haven't done this before. This will be interesting to see how he does this. It's a bit, or the last time I did it was like back at the very beginning of SS, FS22. The very beginning. I'm curious to see how this works. It's been a while. Kill the alfalfa. Nice. Oh, I'm blocking him. I'm blocking him. Why are you going that way? He is picking the most random route in the world to get here, isn't he? I almost ran those bales over. That'd have been bad. <laughs> What's he doing? Where are you going, dingbat? You need course play hello out? Yeah, apparently. He's got the pipe out. He's putting the pipe out. Hit the hay barn. Yep, of course. Streamlabs got a new icon, didn't it? What's up with that? He's actually chopping that one little row there. Alright. What do you say, boss? Whatever you say. It's either do it this way or hook a trailer onto the back of that thing and do it myself, but. I find that's uh, a bit of a pain. Yeah, I noticed that. TLX did get a bit of an update. I logged on tonight and my TLX was the wrong color. I was kind of confused about it. So I had to fix it. What are you doing? Is he just going to go chop? He's really just going to go chop some flowers, I guess. No, he's turning around. He's turning around. He's very confused about it, but he's turning around. The pipe can't spin around this way, dude. I gotta drive through the field. That's great. What's up, Miss Tech? That's just perfect. Just perfect. 
I like I wanted that crop anyway, right? I mean, who needs it? Ay, ay, ay. I hate workers. Yeah, it was kind of weird. The X3 attachments got an update, but I had to change the colors on my X2 attachment. I can't believe we're still this bad. That's been a while. She's normally asleep by this time. She had a friend over tonight, so she was up late. So you guys say we need Miss T to give her lessons. Or Mrs. T to give her lessons. And, uh, and I'd be worried about that. I'd be a little worried about that. Gonna kill me for saying that. I'm a good driver in real life. I should freaking drag the wheel over here. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drag the wheel over. Down the pedal, there we go. Yep, steering wheel started responding. Alright. Alright. Tell you what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna sneak up behind him. I don't want to do that. The voice is a little quiet compared to game sound, that's Probably a good call. Let me try to fix that. Uh, game. I'll drop that down to like 38. We'll see how that is. Scare him? Yeah, I'm about to give him the uh, the old Beyond Scared Straight program here. Teach him how to drive in a straight line. Just gonna back this on up. Swing her back around straight. Back it all the way up. And hopefully, we don't have to run through a ton of field. Probably still have to back into a little bit of it for the pipe to come around far enough for me to use it, but. We can get it. Let's see how close we can go here. That's gotta be. Yes, there it is. I'm blocking him. There you go. Now are you happy? There we go. See the more I more I want one, dude. It, it's nice. It, it really is. It's it's the best way to play this game. Get this thing's a little more straight here. Yeah. Need to get uh, wheel cam set back out. I was enjoying doing wheel cam stuff. Honey, I need another webcam. Is my voice better, by the way? Or better compared to game sound now? Should be at least a little better. 10% better, actually, to be exact. Pass for a steering wheel setup? Yeah. It's nice, it really is. I, I want to add the uh, the uh, that new stick that's coming out from uh, Thrustmaster. That would be super nice. I think it's going to be a hundred bucks. I think I am going to add it at some point to the streaming setup. I want to do the the whole Hori wheel setup, but I, I don't like that it doesn't have uh, 
have the force feedback that, that bothers me. Come on. Keep around. First, I'm gonna cut into. Nope, we got it. Okay, so don't go digging into anything just yet. Okay. Right on. Right on. Birthdays in January, so I'm gonna tell the stuff. Eh, that does suck. That does suck. You setup will only be available for PC only. Yeah. Yeah, the Hori setup. The Hori setup looks really good if you if you do a lot of ATS and um, and farm sim because it's a 13 inch wheel. I would wish the G920 was a 13. If the G920 was a 13 inch wheel, it'd be one of the rest wheels out there. And it's got the turn signal indicator. Um, but I will say, if you don't want to do that, the Thrustmaster um, controller that you can add. Is, is looking like a pretty promising option. It's 400 bucks for that whole setup. Like, that's a lot of money. I can understand people not wanting to spend that. Especially for a wheel that doesn't give you force feedback. But it is a wheel, pedal, and... Um, hang on, what you want to call it? And the controller. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't get the shifter, but the G920 is 400 bucks with the shifter, though. So, or 370 with the shifter. So, and I mean, the force feedback on the G920 isn't the best Ford be force feedback system out there. So, 26th, yeah. Although I don't know that Hori's gonna offer a, I don't know that Hori really has a shifter on their catalog. But to be fair, how often do you really use a shifter in Farming Simulator? So, I don't, there's give and takes to it. I'm sure some people use the shifter more than I do, but. Export a blender. I normally do OBJ because that's what, um, most of my stuff can can work with uh, like substance I know works with the OBJ I think I've done FBX a few times but I, I find OBJ is the more consistent oh you have the Thrustmaster T6 oh, okay yeah I'm just using the regular Logitech shifter Yeah, and I'll be honest, I really don't use the regular the, the Logitech shifter all that much, just for racing games, which I don't really play all that often. A little too far forward. I need to take the damn uh, spring out of the pedal set for the for the brake pedal. It's way too tough. It is way too tough, especially with a sliding chair. Like every time I go to hit uh, reverse, I gotta like hold on to the desk, otherwise I'm sliding backwards with it. Oh, that's cool. 3D printing your blender models? That's cool. Harvest the other portion? Yes. That is the plan. And we have... We just hit 100,000 liters off this field. I have the Unreal Capacity version of the uh, 82 Studios bed here. I'm probably going to go for... Uh, probably just over half of this field, I think. It's probably a good good spot to go. All right, Miss Tech. Mrs. Tech, good night, honey. I love you. C64s and stuff. Yeah. See, I, I didn't really have a tech class. Schools were too stupid for a tech class. Spray won't come back. Oh, yeah. Rubber stopper. That, that's what I meant. I, I've seen the videos on it. I, I just haven't done it yet. I, I need to get on it. This thing's terrible. It's way too much freaking force to, to do this. 
You gotta take all the screws out of the back on it. I can't even remember. I remember. Uh, I know I've seen a video on it, but it's been a while. It's all the screws out of the back side of the thing, right? Or is it just the screws off the... I can't even remember. Basically, all the screws out of the back. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna dig into it here real soon because this is, this is rough. It's definitely too stiff. I don't know why they thought it needed to be that that hard of a brake pedal. I've never had a brake pedal that's that, that tough to press in any vehicle I've ever owned. And that's including brand new vehicles. You know my brake pedals are like super sensitive on a new car. That's That's about the only thing you gotta watch. But I mean, like, I'd understand it if uh, you were using the shifter to put yourself in reverse, at least. But you don't. I guess you can. No. Not in automatic mode in this game, at least. I guess I could put it in uh, sequential, use the paddle shifters. but that could be kind of annoying with some, some of the vehicles in this game, depending on how the gears are set up. Miss T's been doing a lot of uh, Mrs. T. I keep saying Miss T. God damn it. i got to correct that. Um, but uh, yeah, she's been doing a ton of... Uh, like tens and elevens, a couple twelves here and there. That's it. that's the other thing that no drives me nuts with farming simulators. The way the force feedback is set up is really bad. Because farm sim doesn't use the force feedback; it's just the spring, spring return. So you have like, you can literally move it like twenty degrees, either direction. Get you to can't shift gears without clutching if you try to yeah. See, I don't mind driving manual with a clutch, but the problem is is most tractors in this game, except for the older stuff, doesn't run that way. It's it's not the way they work. I thought I would be excited to try that uh the Hori or the uh, Thrustmaster thing. Thrustmaster controller. Because a lot of tractors use that for their throttle control, or like harvesters and stuff, you could use that as your throttle. I'm not sure if you could set that up in game, but if you can, I'm definitely going to. Definitely going to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You going up there to harvest? Yeah, you are. All right, I'll follow you. Just the dead zone, the menu settings on in the game. Um, probably can't get to it from here, can I? Maybe the F12 menu. Well, I feel like F12 adds that. No. Yeah. In game setting has force feedback.
not seeing it in game. Oh, direction change. I can change that. Do a manual direction change. That'll help. Um, main starts. Okay. It's in setting. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to check that after the stream. Try to get this thing dialed in a little better. I don't think I have all my uh, controls set up either on this thing, to be honest with you. Yeah, now if I hold the brake, it doesn't really put me in reverse. There we go. So if I want to go in reverse, I gotta, gotta actually shift to reverse. That's better. I like that better. Uh, which way is my wheel? There it is. Does this, is this set up? First, second, third. Okay, so if I press down. I get to reverse on the shifter. Down and to the right should have been reversed, but that puts it in seventh. So I gotta tell it where reverse is on my stick. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, reverse high. There we go. Yeah, I need to. I just spend more time with FS22 in the wheel. I really haven't spent all that much time doing it. Uh, and there we go. I'm driving into something. Second. There we go. Now go back down. Hey, man, you thought the feedback was in the game. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. I'll figure it out. Oh, drive in cab for a bit. Why not? Yeah, I definitely want to get some more, uh, some farm, more farm sim control panels going on here. I know I can set my stream deck up to do a lot of stuff too. I just never have. I always use it for the streaming stuff, but never really for the auxiliary stuff you can do in farm sim like you could program a lot of buttons to do stuff in farm sim uh, how much we got out of this about 200,000 once we get to the end of this row I tell you what we'll go dump it just to see how much of the bunker we can fill with 200,000 uh, I want like at least half the bunker full if I can control it at least half the bunker Android tablet and SIM dashboard. Yeah, but I don't have an Android tablet. And spending 60 bucks on one's hard to do. I wish you could do it with an old uh, iPhone, but you can't. I got old iPhones laying around, but I don't have any Android tablets laying around. At least I don't think. Well, would a Fire tablet work? I, I, I think I might have a Fire tablet laying around. Fire Kids tablet or something like that. I think it runs on an Android system. Anybody know? Civil dashboard. Yeah, I've seen them. I know there's a couple other guys that make them too. All right, 195,000 liters. Yeah, let's go dump and see where we're at. Guess you could try it and see. Yeah, I'd have to look and see if it has that. It's it's an app, right? In the Play Store. Sim dashboard app. Yeah, I gotta dial this force feedback way back. It's definitely not very realistic. ATS is fantastic, but this game it's like, eh. It's, it, you can tell it's not really force feedback. It's artificial force feedback. Not using a motor, it's using the spring. Uh, 
Da, 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 da. Straighten her out. I want to be driving forward when I dump this anyway. I'm gonna go nice and low and slow. And a little more, a little more, a little more. Uh, we are in the drop zone, right? Control I. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Tap out of that. What's going on over there? That just rocketed the thing to the sky. I know it did. We just lost all that chaff. Uh, we lost at least 100,000 liters of chaff. And we spilled a decent amount outside of it. This map likes to rocket these things. I, I cannot explain what's happening, but it likes to rocket my trucks. We're going to need this to clean up the mess. I know that. There we go. Forgot I had to manually shift back down. Recovery time. Yeah, wherever it went. I mean, I could try to tab back into it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to tab into it. I can tab into it. Where am I? Everything's dark. Where's my player icon? I have zero idea, but it did do it. It just rocketed it off the map somewhere. I don't know. Welcome to the abyss. I guess so. Uh, whatever. Guess I'm out 100,000 liters of chaff. Show on map, it literally won't show me on the map. It, th this is the second time a truck has, has gotten literally just shot off into the void on this map. I don't know if it's this map, I don't know if it's the trucks, but. Right, I'll definitely check it out uh, after the stream here. Let me. Wheeler tools. Which one is it? Uh, this one, I think. Uh, they all hold the same amount, right? Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll get to do loader work with a... Wheel loader here. Put this up. Could use 1025R to move all this stuff, but that would probably take about a year and a half. Um, I guess it shouldn't be too bad. It's really only 100,000 liters here total. Cut it hard. Can I swing that? I might be able to swing that if I get my bucket up. No way I'm dumping all this back up in there though. Let's see if we can't get 
Decent scoop out of that. Maybe we can dump it over here. Come back down the hill a little bit. Pick up a little more off the top. Come out of the cab view. Might make it a little easier to see what I'm doing. Get the capacity. Well, I I guess I did do that. I have an eleven thousand liter bucket, or something like that. I know I got a pretty big bucket. Um, I'll lower it back down. There we go. This isn't going too slow though. We're we're getting through it pretty quick. spreading it kind of nicely. Level to push the pile. The problem is I'm worried that it's going to level it off the edge if I do that. You can kind of level with the bucket. Seems like we're doing an all right job, so I'm going to keep Keep doing what we're doing here. Back down a little bit. There we go. It does seem like we're, we're moving it pretty quick. As long as I don't get myself stuck up here on this pile. We're at 97% compaction already. Only problem with the, these paddle shifters is they follow the wheel. Watch some more Christmas movies. All right, y'all are early on the Christmas crap. But to be fair, I didn't take down my Christmas lights in this office till like uh, what was it, July, August. Should have just left them up. I'll be putting them up again for soon. I did take them down. I did. When I rearranged the office last, so whatever that was, whenever you saw that office changed last is when I took them down. One more scoop here off the top or two should have it. Right about there, yeah. I about did it. There we go. Now we need another another hundred thousand liters to put in here. However, we're going to do that. Uh, we might need to push some of this stuff in the back forward, too. I don't think that's going to cover. They're down. Little things like that happen in the background all the time, though. I'm, I'm always making little, doing little changes and stuff like that in the office. Just the way it be. What's up, Kobel? 
you doing, man? I think we got most of it back in. A couple little bits there on the side. Scoop that up. Get it down a little lower. There we go. I'll grab some from the other side there. I want to be able to move that, remove that tree, but. I messaged uh, Silabuski about it. I never got a reply back, so. I'm assuming those probably aren't changing. Alright, here we go. They are fully compacted. Let's just try making this thing all a little bit smoother. Start attacking it from this other side, too, that'll help. Hey, yay! Yeah, yeah. Just trying to work on your junk. Yeah, how'd that come along? How's it looking? How's that all looking? Yeah, that's up. You go down. Yeah, there we go. Starting to get the hang of the the shifting. It's weird though, like I said, it because if your wheels turn left is down, right is up. If, or I'm sorry, left can be down, right or Right can be down, left can be up if you're not careful. Um, yeah, I think we got it good enough. I'll whip it back around over here and we'll just leave it parked for a second. I don't know what I'm going to do about getting more, more of it over here, though. Uh, like I said, I've kind of owed it 100,000 liters here. I lost 100,000 liters because of the game freaking out. Tab to it still, yeah. It's just a no man's land. Ninety-eight thousand nine hundred and four liters is how much I'm missing. How do I want to get that back? That's a lot of chaff to waste. Can I F12 load chaff into this one? I don't think I can. What about my auger wagon? I don't think it can either, to be honest with you. Nope. Um, okay. So. Uh, what's a decent compromise here then without buying a piece of equipment? Could F12 it in. Tip the ground. Chaff. Twenty meters of chaff. How much is that? Mm, that didn't make any difference, did it? Uh, chaff. Hundred thousand. That puts them in. Also put some inside my cow barn. Probably in the woods off to the side too, didn't it? No. Uh, well, I could work with that at least. <clears> that <throat> sucks, but I could work with it. Um, I'm just gonna run mouse 
Let's see if I can't get some of this stuff loaded back up. 3,000 liters at a time. I guess we get to move it all back. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. What's up, Gassy? How you doing, man? Yeah, it sucks. It's going to be a lot of loading. This game, man, sometimes it sure does have a way of working you. Don't tell me I'm stuck up here. Oh, we're good. <clears throat> I got her. Now nah, let's just run the wheel. I was starting to do a mouse and keyboard, but yeah, that's probably going to take a bit. I'm half tempted to see about. You know, I really haven't tried to uh, I don't have a 1025R right now either because I updated it. Crap. Um, okay. Well, here's what we're going to do then. I updated my version. I should have left this version alone. What are the decals? I don't know. They don't. That's just. They do look fuzzy. Josh will change to make the decals fuzzy. That's weird. Thirty-one, lease that. Lease that guy. Store image changed on that guy. That looks a lot better. The all the decals look fuzzy. Do you see that? Texture streaming behavior. It might be. Yeah, all the decals look super fuzzy. Oh, and it's showing up with some dirt in the store that it shouldn't be showing up with. Uh, so I'm guessing something to do with what he did with dirt and wear stuff is not doing what it's supposed to. Hey, that looks better. Does the seat, yeah. It all looks kind of funky for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um... And then I need the loader bucket. I have a 10,000 liter bucket decals. Oh, there's bucket decals. That looks cool. Uh, I don't see a warning decal anywhere. I'm guessing there's supposed to be one, but not showing up. Uh, yeah, I didn't have all the information for There's an error for that. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's the start to some hydraulics for the loader. Josh did say he'd be working on that. For some fittings. That's weird too. I can't shift into reverse. Not sure why I can't shift into reverse using my manual here, but I can't. Yeah, and that's why we test these things. We'll look at it. Yeah, I'm guessing he's got something messed up in this version. Cruising right along. Yep, we get up to speed nicely. Okay, we'll move the loader out of the way here. 
I'm hoping that we get this all working right to where it's not gonna mess with the weight on anything. Yeah, I can go to reverse with this. Uh, that's something going on with the 1025 as well. Maybe it's just the 31 mile an hour engine option. I don't know. I haven't tested any other engine options, obviously, so. I do not know. Yes, that is working. Oop, I'm in reverse. I got it. Doing a live stream tomorrow night? I will not be. I will not be. I am normally not live on uh, Friday nights. There we go. A special engine on it yet? Okay. Not a problem. Here we go. We're dumping. We're dumping. Yeah, we do need to adjust that tip out. You need to be able to tip it out farther. Yeah, it seems to be working all right, though, other than that. Tip out. Seems to do okay, uh, getting through the, through the thing there. Yeah, you're all good, Keith. Not a problem, man. Feel free to work on your own stuff whenever. Not obligated to work on this. Chance I can get it over the top there, is it? Probably not. <laughs> this is going a lot faster. get over top of this first pile here. Start working our way in between the two. Come on, you can do it. You could do it. Ah, it struggles to get over the hill. Might need a little more speed coming into it. those ridges come on you can do it you can do it you can do it yeah we got it there we go all right start backing up backing up backing up cool That worked pretty nicely. This thing's not bad at compacting, I'll be honest with you. Definitely doesn't do it very fast, but it does do it. You know, I could try the uh, the plow, too, for this. After we get it all moved into there as a leveler. It does have a level, or the box blade, too, actually. Box blade can level... Snowplow can level. Alright. Got it over this side just a little bit. Seems to be pretty okay compacting. It's really not bad at compacting at all. You wouldn't think this thing would be anywhere near as good as it is at compacting. It's not bad. Or like moving material out of the way at the very minimum. The tires seem to do pretty good at uh, 
getting stuff back level. Come on up there. Do it. Come on. Here we go. She's spinning quite a bit. Come on. Slide it out. There you go. We got it. That's not bad at all. It's a good little test for it. Good little test. back in try to get lined up like right here needs a lot of it Bucks County having row crop now uh, I feel like I heard something about that too thought I heard something about that too There. Yeah, you'd have to check TNT Modding's Facebook and see if there's anything there about it, or uh, I, who's it, JMF that's doing the real crop stuff. I think it's JMF. I think he was the one leading the charge on that. First. That was not low enough. There we go. There we go. Now we're picking it up. Cool. All right, up. Let's get ourselves spun around back over here. Uh, you know, let's hop out here, open this up. Pull on in. So this thing's nice for getting around inside of a barn, that's for sure. Definitely does not feel very restricted. Aside from the bucket collisions that need fixed, gotta watch that because right now basically it's just imagine the bucket's about three foot wider than it actually is because of uh, some collision issues that need corrected. Yeah, 200,000 liter bucket. I, I mean, even 10,000 liters, this is moving much faster than it would have been doing it 3,000 at a time with the wheel loader, so. Could be a lot slower. There we go. Yeah, we could probably do a uh, even higher capacity bucket. 10,000 is nice, but we, we could probably swing in a, maybe a 50,000 or something at least. For anybody that wants it. Damn collisions really do need to fix on this bucket. I think 
but he's thinking about it. Not bad for building a, filling a bunker. Definitely used worst implements in my life to build bunkers. Only about 20,000 liters to go. Two more scoops. Should have it all. Let's go ahead and snag this stuff here on the outside real quick and then we'll just loop all the way back up through the barn. There we go. Deer. Damn deer look bigger than my deer. Adjust these uh, wheel settings for sure. Get it working right with this game. It's kind of terrible right now, to be honest with you. I think it works, but. Yeah, I tell you, this is definitely getting stuff done faster than the wheel loader was. And it's easier to drive. to drive, no articulation, really just kind of point it in the direction and go. Just going to drive back over the top one more time here, kind of dump like right up in this middle area here. I tell you what, for feeding cows, this thing's going to be pretty amazing, I think. Being so maneuverable in and out of a barn is going to be huge. Can't tell if it's just not letting me tip. Yeah, there it goes. It's really kind of nice for just doing the backwards kind of slow crawl. Kind of empty the bucket out a little bit at a time. I almost wish I would have just started with this, to be honest with you. Looks like I could have made the whole thing a whole lot nicer. I do still need to level it all, but and again, I don't, I, because of the weight, I don't know that it's actually going to be great for, for compact, compacting. But Well, and I tell you what, for snow removal with this bucket, it'd be pretty solid. If you were just doing, uh, like using the, the bucket to just shovel snow out, that wouldn't be bad at all. Because you could remove a lot of material really quick. Just to 
minutes later in the winter. It's a two day season, so for like four to five days straight. All right. I will keep an eye on that. This thing should be able to help us out though. Trevor Murphy, how you doing, man? No, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want to start dumping. MRV. Okay. Keep an eye on that. They're tipping. Yeah, I definitely need some adjustment. We need to be able to tip out farther. Good, good bit of testing here down tonight. See a lot of the issues in action. Rather handy. Unload new, it, it, if you could tip it out farther, that would make the unload faster. And that's 10,000 liters as well, so that's, that's kind of about the speed that it would be if you could tip out the the right amount of distance. It's the fact that I can only tip out. Uh, you have to be at least like there before it starts dumping and that's like just starting to dump. It'll dump pretty fast like this, but then, yeah. Yeah, you just need to be able to tip back farther. The only problem is, is that you start to run into issues down here if you can't, if it tips back too far. Although part of that's the bucket collisions as well, right? So, although I do think the actual tire arm is built lower down a little bit farther too. So, yeah, th there's some adjustments there that need to be made. Um, as soon as I got that, it's covered again. So, this is great. Yeah. Process of looking into that. Okay. Yeah. I think we just got to get the uh, everything adjusted a little bit more. Um, I don't think I need any more silage, to be honest with you. I think we can fire the worker. I think that's enough silage for today. We could probably just chop the rest with the uh, uh, the dam. I can't put this thing in reverse. I can't put it in any gear. I can't put it in reverse. This isn't working at all. That doesn't put it in reverse either. They know where the manual controls are. There it is. Mm. Change direction. I guess it can't be space. That doesn't really matter. <clears throat> there it is, yeah. That'll work. <clears throat> Just tap the space bar and then you go. Whichever direction, that's easier. I like that better. That's much better, actually. I can reach up and hit the space bar. That looked into my junk for three months. Yeah, not a problem, Keith. Yeah. We got all the time in the world. LB on the wheel. Yeah, that would probably work. Like, so the only, well, uh, are you talking LSB or LB? Because LB is the left paddle shifter, right? Extra gears you have your set to RB. Just LB. That's is that the little button on the, the front? 
Yeah. Um, it's the paddle. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about that is if you are you got your wheel cranked all the way one way, then it, that doesn't work anymore. Or, like, in your mind, right? You have to think about it like, oh, the wheel's upside down, so it's going to be the right, not the left. That's that's my only problem with that. It's the same issue with real-life cars that have the paddles on the wheel itself and not mounted to the, <coughs> the column. It's the exact same issue, but... Yeah. Works. I hit the wrong one a lot. Yeah, that, that's... I'm trying to avoid hitting the wrong one all the time if I can. Space kind of makes sense as a holdover. Then you just tap that once and then you're going the other direction from what you are now. Kind of makes sense. You don't have to hold the freaking brake pedal. Alright. We do need to skip four today. Lower and raise, turn on implement. I don't know what mine are set to. Uh, right cab view. Left doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, left on the D-pad switches backwards. That changes my camera. X is get out. B is hire worker. A is detach. I don't know what Y is doing. Oh, it's changing equipment group. Um, disable straw swath, pipe out. That worked, but it also changed equipment. Um, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't like that at all. It's moving the camera out, and yeah, there's a bunch of conflicting uh, controls already set up. I need to go in and like actually set all my controls. The problem is I don't remember what exactly they're supposed to be. A lot of times I just end up reaching up for the keyboard. Usually just use Sim Dashboard for that. Yeah, that would be helpful. And I do need to get some dashboards set up. And really, I want to get an entire sim rig, but that's insanely expensive. I really want to build one, but it's a lot of monies. I do have some plans drawn up to build one out of two by fours, but even then, that's still a lot of money. Because you need the seat and all that. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know that I have enough room in this office for a whole sim rig. Mm. Here we go. Is there anything else that needs done before I skip ahead time? I don't think so. Probably start plowing the uh, the other fields. Um, oh, that's basically it. Let's skip ahead time then. Uh, sleep to 8 a.m. the next morning. Up. I'm trying to remember the layout of this house. This one. I don't think that's actually the right one, but uh, yeah, it is actually. Let's see. Default setting. I've done my own for the joystick. I have changed direction. Joystick. You have a joystick on yours? I don't have a joystick. Sure, you don't have a G29.
6M series with all the IC. I do not, I don't think. I don't think I have that one. Uh, there we go, that's running. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the truck over. Thrustmaster L. That's right. Yeah, I don't have a don't have a joystick on my wheel. Logitech doesn't give you a joystick. Which is kind of a shame. See when I bought this wheel, this was like the the best um, thing you could get for Xbox at the time is why I got it. I didn't have a PC yet, so it was, it was a good way to get into a wheel. Looking back now, I'd have bought a different wheel, but I definitely would have bought a different wheel. That's all right. It's part of it. Part of the fun. Uh, what else is going to be? Yeah, everything's ready. We're not doing that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have... Green is beans, yeah. We got two fields of beans. Ten is that sunflower, right? Yeah. So it's gonna I'm gonna do four and ten with this head. And then eight and one with a bean head. Nine's already done. Alright. White star flash, which you can see the whole nine yards. Yeah, it's, that's that's why I want that Hori wheel, to be honest with you, is it's got a lot of extra functions. It's got the turn signal stock and all that good stuff. But I'm just pulling that Hori wheel back up for a second here. The Thrustmaster thing has a lot on it, too, but the Hori has a ton of stuff on it. That was a lot of what I was really liking about that. I mean, the, the way they set it up is two D-pads on the wheel, a turn signal indicator, two joysticks on the wheel, and then obviously the, the side panel with all of its functions. So I don't understand why they're not just selling the wheel as its own set, because I would buy just the wheel from that bundle. Because that's by far the, the nicest wheel I've seen. For sim games anyway for racing games obviously it's, it's gonna suck but um but then the thrustmaster the thrustmaster site that they came up with for the um the stick makes more sense A T248, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that wheel, I don't think. I mean, it looks fine, like it looks nice, but... It it's, looks to me like a G920, is what it looks like. I don't know which one would be better, but... Um, some task farm stick is what I want. Although, to be honest, it, it looks to me like a lot like a flight stick that's just been they changed some buttons around which is that's fine i mean i get it why they would do that for farming simulator that makes sense so I, i'll be honest that like i don't know if it's going to be better or if the hori side panel is better pull them both up here so you guys can see it i mean the hori side panel you get the, the throttle control but i mean i feel like you could do that with controls on here if you set it up right this is definitely an, um, I want to buy just the wheel, just the stick from this. I don't know why they decided that they weren't going to do that. And 400 bucks is a lot of money for for this setup to not have force feedback. And the Logitech side panel, we all know that thing's garbage. I kind of doubt it. I really like. I really don't want this pedal set. I, I I could care less about this pedal set. It looks like any other pedal set. Um, the wheel with the turn signal stock. This is the first wheel I've ever seen with the turn signal stock built into it. 
plus you get the, the steering knob it's cool it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah i don't know play seat challenge and the problem i have with a lot of these pre-built race like sim setups is like 226 bucks and this thing is i know damn well that wheel is not going to be very solid on that thing it's going to move all over the damn place and this is really a racing seat configuration it's not really meant for sitting upright like you're in a tractor i don't know the side panel looks I don't know which one looks better, to be honest with you. Like, they, they both look good. I, I'm going to say probably the Hori one because you get the, the little dial here. Or the throttle control there. Hori website shows an option for a gear shift. Uh, yeah. Um, See, the, their wheels, I don't think they do a wheel that has force feedback. Um, they don't play on PC, like it doesn't really matter to me. PC controllers. Yeah, they have a seven speed shifter. It does look like a nice shifter. I don't mind. It doesn't look bad at all. I kind of like the way it mounts where it sits a little lower. It's kind of nifty. And it's a seven speed. Most of them are six. Or you could use it in sequential mode. That's kind of nice, actually. For a hundred bucks, that's not bad. I wonder if you could use their flight control stick for... You probably could set up their flight control stick to work with... Uh, farm sim i imagine right i know a lot of times these guys could be used for throttle control for farm sim. these switches look nice that's 500 bucks for that so pick your poison yeah a, a seven speed as a base is definitely better than logitech's that's for sure you'd definitely rather have a seven speed as a base and yeah, it's even a physical toggle to go between sequential and manual. A little switch down there. 100 bucks, that's not bad at all. Just a regular USB plug? Probably, right? Just a straight up USB. Let's see where it says. Yeah, I don't know. Club pick shows eight. And I don't see a spot where it says eight. I see seven. I see seven gears in a reverse. This must be the. What does that do? I assume that's for the clamp, maybe? Maybe the throw distance? If you could adjust the throw distance, that's really cool. Kind of reminds me of like a van shifter. The manual of like a box van or whatever. Uh, this guy's sitting here waiting on me full buddy you gotta get turned around I tell you what we're just gonna back it all the way up to the truck here and unload in the truck I know that's not the right way to do it but might as well in this situation what we doing back for your movie well we were talking the, the different side panels and all the different wheels and stuff for farm sim yeah, I really don't know what the best option is right now, to be honest with you. 
outperform some. It, there was definitely a point in time where it was like, obviously get the G920 or G29, whichever, for whatever console you have. But now it's like, it's definitely not as clear as it used to be. It's definitely not as clear as it used to be. Cheat a little, make it easier. Yeah, playing single player, it's definitely, gotta cheat a little bit. If I was doing MP, I would, but. The fact that it's got a sequential mode built into that Hori shifter definitely makes it a nice appealing option. And a physical switch to switch between the modes. That's that's really, really smart. I don't even think the Thrustmaster has anything like that. See, I just don't want to learn. I don't want to learn uh, horseplay. And I've, I've always said that to myself. Like I, even in nineteen, I, like I started to learn it, and then it was like uh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do it. It's not that it's hard. I just don't want to use it. I don't know why. I feel like it's. I don't know. I know it's meant to like mimic GPS like in real life, but. And maybe if I had the side panel, I would like it better. But, it, like, there's just too many controls that I, I don't want to have to take on and learn. With the side panel, that's one thing, but... Definitely need to do some farm sim guy uh, style gameplay at some point. Get the side panel set up to get all that. You and the modding team and uh, surf together. That would be fun. That would be fun. See, really what I need to do is... So the problem with this setup the way it is right now is that I really don't have enough desk space to have my keyboard, my like my modding setup, and my like a gaming setup. I need to set up both. What I need to do, honestly, is get another monitor and maybe another desk and put it right here off to the side and set that up for gaming and this side up for modding and then put the, this monitor which is my chat monitor in between that's really what i need to do yeah mp live one friday night or saturday so you get yeah we do we do i need to get on that is that field flooded is that what's going on down there? That's definitely field flooding going on right there. That's cool. I've never even noticed that. I didn't notice if I could do that. That's wet. You need to get through that all right, buddy? That's cool. You fell on this map? Yeah, I've never, never had that. Sounds wet. Uh, I need to hop into grain cart. Get moving. Come on. How to save. Yeah, I, I need to do something about my setup to make it a little bit easier to work with, uh, Easier to switch between gaming and modding. So right now I have to like unscrew the whole wheelbase, slide it all the way over out of the way. I really don't have enough desk space as it is. I need to come up with something, a slightly better system for this. Even if I just got another monitor maybe, set it up off to the side, that would work. I don't know, I need to do something. Every door basically has playing any map. Yeah. I think I am using that. I can't remember though. I think I am. Just going off the textures, getting kicked up by the tires. I think I am. Damn it, he got down here too quick. 
he's gonna fill up. I'm sure of it. I'll just follow him anyway. Yeah, maybe this weekend I'll sit down and mess with everything, see if I can't get everything set up a little better. Maybe a little better for all that. There's so much stuff I want to do to my setup to improve it, but limited on money and time to do it. Because I have more of both. I could come up with a really sick setup if I had some more money for it, but the way the economy is right now, it's just tough. Everything is so freaking expensive. Really, I'd like to add another camera. Oh, well, I want to do two more cameras, honestly. I want to add a wheel cam, and I want to use another webcam. If I did the another desk over here, I'd set up another webcam so I could just basically pivot my seat, and then I'd do all that over there. It'd be really a nice way to do it, but or even this way going that way, I don't know, either way, it work, but I'd probably do it, do it this way, to be honest, it would be too hard to set up, just another desk and more monitors, I'd have to move the mic to this side, and that way I could spin the mic from here to over here. Yeah. Motor sounds implement on. Yeah. I don't know that I'm, I have distant motor sounds. Oh, I'll use a laptop. Yeah, but your laptop probably still has a better, uh, better GPU than I do. See, if you don't stream though, Jason, it doesn't make much sense to have a ton of monitors you know what i mean i want another monitor so i can do i have two right now and i actually had three at one point i should have kept the third one but i gave it away as a christmas gift to somebody that needed one younger fellow that was getting into pc gaming it was a cheap monitor anyway all my monitors are pretty cheap but um, yeah. Stream, I wish I had more. Yeah, I will say having two for modding is definitely, I'd say, a requirement. You def definitely at least need two for streaming or for modding. Streaming, you have to have two. There, there's no way to stream and not have two monitors unless you're using your phone to watch chat. That's the only other way you can do that. Um... Yeah. Wish I had two more. I'll tell you what I really want is a like a four small 4K TV I could set up to be like my actual gaming monitor. Wish I had a spare 4K TV laying around, but I don't. Do not. Problem is, it's got to be pretty high refresh rate really to work. The other issue with this setup is I also would need a HDMI switcher to switch between this being the main monitor and that being the main monitor. I mean, this is always going to be the secondary monitor. I know that, but the uh, you wouldn't want any one of the either one of these monitors being set to monitor one without a way to switch it easily, because otherwise it's going to put the game by default on. Uh, either monitor. If you wanted to use this monitor, you'd want to be able to switch back to it. Yeah, two more. Yeah, four monitors is a. Uh, I don't know. 
that I would need two over here. If I could just pivot the one, or have the one be somewhere set in the middle. And just another one right here. I will say, though, for, like, editing and Photoshop work, another monitor that's, like, super color accurate would be nice, but that's getting wishful. I almost want a Mac for that as well for, like, an editing PC. If I had all the money in the world, but this setup would be insane. This setup would be absolutely insane. I know how to set stuff like that up, I just don't the funds to do it. Any more viewing space? Yeah. Really, I need a better audio setup right now. I need a better GPU. I need, like I said, I was just talking about another monitor, another desk. <coughs> A GPU upgrade. Me and Ms. Tack were talking about splitting a GPU for me for Christmas. So I might do that with her. See if I can't find something reasonably pro I think I found a 3080 refurbished for like um, 570 bucks. 40 something inch TV. Yeah, that's not bad. My This monitor is a 32 inch 1440, 144 hertz. Really, what I want is a freaking 49 inch ultra wide. Be sweet, but only problem is streaming on a 49 inch ultra wide is really weird because it makes the aspect ratio all weird, crunched up. Can it does mean you can make wide angle videos if you're recording off of it, but streaming off of it makes it weird, weird content. You almost need like a 32 for like your streams, so it kind of negates the purpose if you stream most of the time. <laughs> but like a, I, they also have like 48 inch uh, like TVs basically or 48 inch monitors that are like basically TVs that's the way to put that yeah the X3 stuff can be kind of tricky to get set up but once you figure out exactly what you need to do to set them up it makes much more sense figure it out. This guy gonna be full by the time we get back? He might be just full by the time he gets back. Nice gaming desktop. There you go. Really my PC's fine, it just needs a, a GPU upgrade. A 1080 is it really struggles sometimes. I mean that's why the graphics settings are lower than most people's and a lot of other guys you see on YouTube have crazy high render distances and stuff like that, and I can't do it. Can't do it. It lags it out. You guys have seen it. I've been able to get the game really freaking laggy just by having another program open in the background. Like, last night at the beginning of the stream, I had Blender, GE, and um, Substance open in the game, and it was so laggy at the beginning, I had to close everything out. That was the only way I could get it to work. Your 3060 would work, but the only problem is, is in about two years or so, it'd be about done. So that's why I'm going to go for like a 3080 and uh, go hopefully make that last for another four or five years. So I can go 3060, but it's the, the long-term lasting of the PC. I try to make my stuff last as long as I can. I mean, this GPU is eight years old now, nine years old now. Literally came out in 2013, 2014, something like that. Almost everything. Yeah, 3060 can do it. Now, to be fair, if you ever tried streaming with that, streaming is really demanding. It's really demanding. Especially uh, like RAM and all that stuff has to be good. I have 32 gigs of super high speed RAM. Um, it's my CPU. It's a Ryzen 7 3700X, which is pretty beefy. At least when I was when I bought it. Now there's better, obviously, but you could go Ryzen 9. That was about the only step up from there from a 3700X when I bought it. 
Yeah. I mean, 3060s are good, for sure. I'm not trying to crap on a 3060, but like I said, it's it's by the time you add in streaming, and if you do any, like, higher performance need necessary games, like, um, like Starfield. Starfield on a 3060 would struggle a little bit, just like my 1080 does. I mean, I'm, I'm barely getting to the 30 FPS while I'm streaming in Starfield. It's like 28. And that's on low settings for everything. They would be able to hook your school Chromebook. So your, your Chromebook, you could hook up and you watch YouTube videos off of it, but that's, that's really all it's good for. Chromebooks really are pretty limited in terms of what they can do. Uh, I need to tap to the... Damn. Too much equipment. Too much tabbing. Tap jack the RAM up. Yeah. Yeah, RAM if you're streaming is extremely important. been a long time since I had a Chromebook. I had a Chromebook back when I was like 15. I actually bought it myself. Lag on your game recently? Tend to be, yeah, 16 gigs. I would, I would, I mean, at the beginning when I first started streaming FS22, you guys remember that? All my uh, PC kept blue screening on me all the time. That was because I didn't have enough RAM. And that was with 16 gigs of high speed RAM. So I had to go to 32 gigs. I literally couldn't stream with 16 gigs. And that was on fairly low settings even. RAM is super important for, for streaming. Just an iPad. Yeah. We got Mini and I... So Mini started off with that... Uh, Amazon Fire can stab it or whatever, and that thing was a piece of crap. So uh, I bought her the cheapest iPad I could find. I've been much happier with it. I'm gonna download Blender in like 10 minutes. Round two, now it hangs up from 4 to 12. Yeah. Yeah. But most of the time, if I'm watching the um, performance screen on mine, it'll peg out at... Uh, I, if I'm streaming, I can get it up to like 26 gigs of RAM being used. It gets insane. If I have Blender GE Substance and the game running, it'll even climb up to like 30, 31. I almost need 64 gigs. Which, but I did leave myself upgradable to go to 64, so I might do that eventually. Time, bud. I need more fans in my PC and a bigger GPU, and my, my PC would be fen phenomenal for a while. But love 64, yeah. It would definitely be nice. I did leave myself the path to upgrade to that if I ever needed to, but. Really, I actually need to add another SSD as well because I'm, I'm getting low on SSD storage. I'm starting to run on all slow storage. Which sucks. Need uh, another one terabyte SSD. Get your truck start loading it from the green cart. Yeah, I probably could. That's probably a good call. Probably a good call. Start upgrading slowly. Yeah, the problem is, is I really want to buy a house. That's that was the other part of uh, getting the wedding over with was starting to save up for a house. And but the problem with that is nine percent freaking uh, interest rates on homes right now. So just anybody that doesn't know what that means, that means uh, it's like a million dollars over thirty years. You have you have to pay an interest basically. Basically. 
course, you could refinance in a few years, but that's assuming that rates ever actually go down, so. Yeah, we're at 9.27% right now, I think. 9.29. It's ridiculous. Yes, I do need a house first. I have to get a house before I really start pouring money into PC upgrades and sim steering wheels. And Really, I need the YouTube channel to start making money before I pour money into any of that. That's really what I need. Two point nine fix for yeah, dude, you're good, you're set. It was probably like thirty grand cheaper than the average home price right now. I don't know if you've seen the average prices of houses these days, but like one hundred and forty grand used to buy you a pretty decent house in my area. Now you're at like. Um, if you want the same house it'd be like 300 280 it's crazy housing prices it, yeah it's the same here keith it's it's absolutely astronomical you can't afford to buy a house right now at all if if you buy a hundred and twenty thousand dollar house right now you're buying a, a double wide trailer on a 0.25 acre lot at best and it leaks like the roof will leak like that, that's that's a hundred and twenty thousand dollar house right now. It's terrible, and that's in my area, which is is historically one of the cheapest places in the United States to live. Ohio is one of the lowest cost of living states to live in in the country. It's it's nuts. Can't afford it right now. So, if I buy something, I don't know how the hell about Yeah. 868k. Yeah. Well, and see, I actually found uh, a nice. Uh, it's not a pond, it's a flooded field. Um, I found back. What was it, October last year? I found. Uh, we, we made an offer on a house here in the same town that I live in for 170 um and we offered 175 and we got outbid by 20 grand we got outbid it, the other person offered 195 yes joe monday will be live with some modding uh, how's that post stamp yeah getting any pets jason i have Two dogs. I have two dogs. You don't get to see them much these days, but I do have two dogs. They're normally in bed by the time I come in here to stream. I have a German Shepherd and I have a Chihuahua. Full blood German Shepherd, full blood Chihuahua. I thought you guys had seen uh, the German Shepherd one night at least. And the, a lot of the guys that have been around the channel a long time uh, have seen uh, the Chihuahua. Chihuahua's been around for forever. I got the German Shepherd a year and two months ago. She pops in with me every once in a while. Not very often. Sometimes she'll break in here, come hang out and see me. Before the German Shepherd, we had an Australian uh, Shepherd um, Blue Healer mix. It passed away about a month after we got her. That was awesome. I haven't moved the entire time that I've been streaming, Keith. This is the house I've always lived in. I used to just stream down in the dining room, though, and then we set up this room to be my office. But I started this channel though I was I, I streamed in my my dining room go back and watch some of the old streams you'll see it that was when I could stream uh, on first shift more 
That's really what changed there. So I was streaming more on first shift than late second. Bikini one? Yeah, that's uh that's that was streaming in my dining room at that point. That was when we hit 1k and when I proposed a Miss Tag bikini stream. seen that whole stream Jason and I proposed live in a bikini and there's like 40 something people watching 50 something people watching we did that it's pretty crazy the worst part was is people uh, were giving me crap about it at work Christmas tree in August yeah it wasn't August it was late October and that, that's mistack that was all Mrs. Tag. Watch if you don't have nightmares. Does this thing still work? No. Hang on. It's not all of a sudden. Uh, let me try something one real quick here. Go to my There we go. Now I'm back. Cut out my audio when I did that. <laughs> Nightmares all over again. Yeah, I used, there used to be a button on my stream deck. I could press the button on my stream deck and that would pop up. I haven't set that up in a while. The worst part is, is I took that... We took that picture in middle of December, middle of January. Like, it was, it was cold. It was literally snowing when we, I took that picture. Hit a bikini top, like it, it was cold. I want to say it was like eight degrees out that day or something crazy. It was it was tough taking that 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 picture. It was it was rough. That was uh, the first time I'd ever done a thumbnail that way, where I had to like crop a something out of real life and put it into a digital picture learned a lot in that <laughs> take you bikini shopping yeah yeah my mom used to pop into the chat all the time too didn't she I forgot about that mom my sister used to be a lot of people that pop in the chat used to be popping in here man not to say it's not now. We have fun, but there was a time. It, this, this chat used to be slammed. Everyone got busy. Had to go back to work. Yep, they were both there that day. streams to yeah there was is up to 150 yeah we, we had some crazy nights we had some very crazy nights and days even there was uh one stream we did one morning like just after an fs update came out that was my best viewed stream ever i think we had like 160 people in here at one point during that stream it was nuts it was nuts. I did not know what to do. It was way too many people for me to keep focused. 
I was just trying to show off all the little updates and changes that came with it. It wasn't even a big update or anything. I mean, it was at the time. We, we haven't got any updates like that in a while, but... It was crazy. I just had the, the timing on it right, I guess. Yeah, this cornfield has a flooded spot in it down over there somewhere. All on the server. Yep, we did a bunch of server stuff back then. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. I mean, since then, I think the best I've had is 100 the one night that Clutch raided me back when that, uh... Was the one uh, Brazilian pack came out with the... The Jacko pack or whatever? Is that what it was? Back before the real... Yeah, exactly what it was. Is It was like end of 2020, early 2021. A lot of people were still uh, uh, not working or stuff like that. Or, you know, it, it was it was cool. It was great for streaming back then. That, that was the best time to grow. I really should have uh, should have got on it better back then. Thought of doing another eight-hour stream. I, Cody, I'd love to. The only problem is, is it means giving up a, a weekend day that I don't have very many of those. It, it, there's not a lot of weekends where I'm free. I'm not really doing much. Most weekends, I'm, I'm pretty busy with stuff. Uh, this weekend, Saturday, I'm going to a pumpkin patch, and Sunday, we're doing my birthday party. So, Or like a little, uh, little itty-bitty birthday party thing. So, it's next Monday is my birthday. Three days away. Be 25 years old. Just come hang out with me Monday in here. Little birthday stream. I thought about taking some time off work Monday, but I really don't have much time to be able to take off. So, I'm just going to work. Well, thank you, Keith. Appreciate it, man. This guy's almost done. We'll finish up the, uh, the field here. Appreciate it, Johnny. Appreciate you guys. We're almost done. Almost done. One last little bit there. Half your age, not filled. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a young gun. That's for sure. Oh, I feel old. <laughs> My back hurts. 33 next month. Yeah. Uh, same age as your daughter. Yeah. I get it all the time at work. People always think I'm older than I am. 31 in two months. There you go. Uh, is this all going to fit? Make it all fit. And I'll get everything put away off stream. That wasn't too bad at all. Not bad uh, corn harvest, I would say. We got quite a bit of silage out of it. Quite a bit of corn. Did all right. Uh, yeah, this guy has 40,000. This guy has 47. So 87,000 liters there and 200 and 200 or so in the silage pits. So that's pretty good. I'll take that. December 31st. Oh, yeah, last day of the year. Look at that. But that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Let's get it, baby. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like sharing. I don't think I like sharing a birthday with a holiday. I don't love that. In January would suck to have a birthday in January. I feel bad for any January, please. Gobel's been here the whole time. He's just been quiet. All right, guys. Yeah, that's going to do it. I will catch you guys Monday with some modding. Hope you all have a wonderful evening.